welcome to the Family Fudge, and thank you for joining me again for more school lunch inspiration. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. Today I have Mackenzie, and she's actually gonna help me today. Now, Mondays are normally PB&J day, but we're getting a little bit bored with our PB&Js, right? Yeah. So today we're gonna make it a lot more fun. We're actually gonna be using this Greek pita bread. Now this pita bread doesn't have a pocket. It's really just like a nice, thick, soft piece of bread. Okay. And instead of jelly today, we're gonna use... Bananas. Yes, so we're doing peanut butter and banana. So Mackenzie's going to spread our peanut butter on this, and I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the banana. You like helping in the kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have our peanut butter on there, we're gonna put a layer of bananas. This kind of looks like a pepperoni pizza because the peanut butter is like the tomato sauce and the bananas are, is like the pepperonis. Good job, Mackenzie, that looks delicious. Thanks. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of honey and I'm just gonna drizzle it on top just for a little bit of sweetness. So now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it on top and we're gonna do the same thing. Good, perfect. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna need a little bit more bananas. Why don't you go ahead and put those on there and I'll okay. slice up some more. Okay. Good, so now I'm gonna do another little drizzle of honey. Not too much, I don't want this to be super messy. And then we'll take the top and put it right on there. And then I'm gonna take my knife, this part is for mommy to do, and I'm gonna cut it. You have to use fractions to do that. Mm -hmm. Now this is gonna make a big sandwich. So I think everybody can have some. Even mommy could have some, Griffin can have some. Okay, now there we have it. A triple decker, peanut butter, and a banana with honey sandwich. Now to keep our layers together, I'm just gonna use one of these little picks to stick it right through. And these are just plastic picks. You can find these at the dollar store. And they're not really sharp, so it's safe for the kids. Does that look fun, Mackenzie? Yeah. Very cool. So here we have our cute little triple decker sandwiches. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lid on here. Now to go along with that, I am sending a juice today. This is the organic fruit punch from Costco. Do you like these, Mackenzie? Yeah. Yeah. And something new, the kids have never tried this before. Now they do like cottage cheese, usually, but this actually has cottage cheese and in this little section right here, there's some peaches. So it's like fruit and cottage cheese together. So it's a good amount of protein for the lunch today. And then we also have a little cutie, these are so fun, and a bag of pirate booty, yum. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my lids on. I definitely wanna put an ice pack in there today so that the cottage cheese doesn't get all warm, and then we'll head out the door. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, so we're back home now, and I have both Mackenzie and Lily here to help me. Let's go ahead and start with Mackenzie's lunch first. How did it go, Mackenzie? It was really yummy. Yeah. I ate everything. You ate everything? Let's see. <gasps> you did. So what'd you think about our triple decker sandwich? I really liked it. And what'd you think about your cottage cheese? It was slightly good, but I ate it all. Slightly good. So next time, should I get it with fruit or no fruit? Um, fruit. You did like it? Okay. So let's look at Jackson's. Now Jackson, you didn't eat your cutie, huh? Now let's look in here. You ate all of your sandwiches, but where are the picks? You don't know, uh-oh. You gotta look for those picks, okay? Oh, there's one. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay, good, so I've got both of my picks back. And then Lily's, let's see how she did. You ate almost all of your food, just a little bit of your sandwich left. Did you like it? Yeah. Was it hard to eat? Was it messy? Yeah. A little bit, a little bit messy. But you didn't eat your cutie either. <laughs> I'm gonna save it. You save it for later? Yeah. Okay. But you ate your pirate booty. Was that your favorite part? Yeah. Yeah. Now, she has a little bit of her cottage cheese left. What'd you think? Not good. Not good, so maybe I might not buy these again. We'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. Now we only have five minutes before we need to head out the door so I'm gonna try to go through this quickly but I feel like it's been a long time since I packed a nut-free lunch for school. So let me show you what I packed today. First I started off by making some mac and cheese. Now this is actually my kids' favorite kind of mac and cheese. This is the Horizon Organic Cheesy Deluxe Mac and Cheese and they love it. Now since today is going to be a longer day I definitely packed more in their lunches. So to go along with the mac and cheese, I also am putting in a little brownie bar. 
So these brownie bars are really tasty. They actually have two in each package, but I just break them up and give the kids one so it's not too much. And basically this is a little bit of chocolate, whole grains, figs, and dates are in there. So it's kind of a naturally sweet treat. They love those. I'm also sending this teeny tiny little cutie. And while my mac and cheese was cooking, I went ahead and mixed up another batch of my homemade ranch. Of course, I have a video on that. I'll go ahead and link it down below. Now, I'm also sending an apple juice today. I know the kids are gonna love that. And then probably at the star of the show. Look, Kenzie. <gasps> yes! Now, I've never packed these before, but these were on sale at my grocery store. And so these are just individually packaged Pringles. So it's just a few in there and they're in a container so they don't get crushed, which is really fun. Now Mackenzie, I want you to make sure to eat your vegetables before I, you eat this, okay? I love these. Yeah, I made new ranch too. All right, so we only have a couple minutes. We gotta pack it up. I'm gonna get my lids on and then we'll head out the door. And we'll see you guys when we get back. Okay guys, so we're back home now and I have Mackenzie here helping me. Hi. I asked the kids if they wanted to help me and she was the only one. So how'd it go today, Mackenzie? It was really yummy. You know, she told me though that the mac and cheese was not hot by lunchtime. Was that true? Yeah. Was it completely cold or was it kind of warm? Kind of warm. Kind of warm. So my theory behind that is that the mac and cheese doesn't have a lot of sauce to it and it's the sauce that's in here that helps keep the food warm. So I don't know, maybe I'll just do mac and cheese when we're at home for lunch and then maybe I wouldn't pack it again. But let's see how you did. Oh, you left some in there. So you still ate some of it even though it wasn't hot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's check in here. You ate everything, even your snap peas? Yep. You like those, right? Yeah. Oh, you have a little bit of ranch. Did you use any ranch? I did. You did? But you just had extra? Yeah. Okay, so maybe I'll put less next time. So what was your favorite part? I like the mac and cheese, but it, but I want it to be warm next time. Warm next time, okay. Well, okay, so let's check Jackson's. Let's see how he did with his mac and cheese. Oh, he left some as well. Well, I don't know that I would do the mac and cheese again in the thermoses, I don't know. If you guys know any tips on keeping mac and cheese warm, let me know in the comments down below. But let's go ahead and check Jackson's container. Oh, he ate everything. Oh, I look, look, he traded his ranch with Lily. Because that's <laughs> Lily's ranch. They ate lunch together today. Let's, let's see. It's mostly empty, so. <laughs> Looks like he ate everything else but a few snap peas. And I can't ask him what his favorite was because he's not here right now. Let's go ahead and check Lily's. She also has a little bit of mac and cheese. And then in here, oh, she ate pretty much everything. Look, here's Jackson's ranch. That should be in there, <laughs> that should be in here. She also left a few snap peas. So overall, on everything else, they did pretty good. But the mac and cheese, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't pack that again. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good afternoon guys and welcome to Wednesday. Now today I made some pizza. You can probably tell we like pizza around here. I make it quite a lot. But today I actually took help from the store by using three mini pre-made pizza crusts. Now to these I just added some tomato sauce, some mozzarella cheese, some turkey pepperoni, and some cheddar cheese. And then I just baked it off for about 10 minutes. Now today I'm also serving some celery sticks with a little bit of hummus for dipping a cutie orange, my kids love those, and some grapes. I got a big bag of grapes the other day and I'm trying to use them up before they go bad. So for Mackenzie and Jackson, I have two and a half pieces and then for Lily, I just have two pieces. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah. Does it look good? Yeah. It smells really good. Here you go. Thanks. Okay guys, so here's how they did today. Not very good at all. What do you think, Mackenzie? I don't know. This one's actually Lily's. We should probably switch these. So Mackenzie left a piece of pizza and you didn't eat your orange at all. Why not? Because when, because sometimes when I peel off oranges, some of the orange juice squirts in my eye and then I can't see very well. So I didn't want to peel the rest of it. Okay, that's an interesting excuse. And then you still have some celery. Jackson ate all the cheese off of his pizza and he didn't eat any celery. And surprisingly, Lily did really well, so. These guys don't always eat all their lunch, but usually you guys are pretty good, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's try again tomorrow. Hello guys, and welcome to Thursday. I hope your day is going awesome. Now for us, Thursdays are busy days. The kids have school, and then they also have gymnastics, so we are go, go, go. For today's lunch, I started off by making some octopus dogs. And for these, I'm using the Angus Beef Uncured Hot Dogs. 
And technically, our octopus dogs are only gonna have four legs. We're not worried about that. These are really easy to make and the kids love them. So I went ahead and cut the hot dog and got it into some water. And while that was happening, I went ahead and filled each thermos with some boiling water. Then I let these guys cook for about five minutes and you'll know they're ready when the little octopus legs curl up. Then I just drain them, take the water out of the thermoses and put the little hot dogs in. These would look really fun and I did cook one extra just in case the kids are still hungry. They can ask for more. Now to go along with that, I'm also serving some melon. We have cantaloupe and honeydew today and some really cute little cheese pieces. I just took some of this medium cheddar cheese and I used my star and my heart shape to cut them out. And then my daughter Mackenzie helped me to package up some snap pea crisps. These are so good. They're a crunchy veggie snack. And while she did that, I gave each kid a little squirt of ketchup to go with the hot dogs. And I am remembering to pack their little spoon fork today as well. So now I'll go ahead and get my lids on, package these up, and then we'll head out the door. Okay guys, we're back home now. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of their backpack so we can see how they did. Okay, so let's start with Mackenzie's first. So she's here with me, say hi. Hi. How did it go, how did it go Mackenzie? Good. How was gymnastics? I loved it. For all your friends there today? Yeah. Good. Okay, so let's see. And here is empty. You ate all of your hot dog. You ate all of your snap pea crisps. You ate all of your cheese and your fruit. And there's just a tiny bit of ketchup left in there. So you did a really good job, Mackenzie. Thanks. What was your favorite part? The, the hot dog. And what did you call it? The quadrupus. Quadrupus? Because there's four legs instead of eight? Yeah. That's so funny. Okay, let's check Jackson's. Oh, let's see Jackson. He ate all of his hot dog. Was your hot dog good, Jack? Yeah. Yeah? Was it still hot when you ate it? Yeah. So he ate all of his cheese and his fruit. He ate all of his, oh, there's a little bit of ketchup left in there, and he ate all of his snap peas. Good job, Jack. All right, now for Lily's. She left some of her snap peas, not, not too many, and she can eat these later. She ate all of her fruit and cheese, so that's amazing. I didn't expect her to do that. And she ate all of her hot dog. Overall, I would say today went really well, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. I have Mackenzie here, and I have Jackson. Say hi. Hi. So do you want to tell our friends what these guys are? Yeah. Those are veggie bites. Now, if you've never heard of veggie bites, I actually get these at Costco and they're really good. They're my favorite. So I actually like to cook these in my air fryer. You can also put them in the microwave if you'd like. And they don't actually have to be served warm. I was gonna go ahead and put them in my thermoses, but then I changed my mind. These veggie bites are made of carrots, sweet potatoes, kale, celery, and tomatoes and corn. They're really very good. And while they were cooking, I went ahead and made a condiment to go with them. I made something called fry sauce. Now fry sauce is definitely a popular condiment found in Utah. And even though we're in California, we love it too. So basically it's just even parts mayo and ketchup. And then I put a little bit of pickle juice, just about a teaspoon or so. And then I mix it up. So it's kind of like a Thousand Island type dressing, but it's not chunky at all. Now, like I said, these are just fine at room temperature, and I am including this teeny tiny cute little fork for the kids to use. Now, for the protein today, I am serving some ham. This is just rolled up deli hams. This is really good from Costco, and I put it on a little pick just so it would be fun, and it would keep it together inside the lunchbox. For our fruit today, I have some watermelon. Do you like watermelon, Kenzie? Yeah. I got three big chunks of watermelon in there. And I have the same for Jackson and the same for Lily, but I did give her a little bit less because she usually just, she eats less. Now I am including a treat today. Miss Lily has wanted these for days. These are actually chocolate chip animal cookies. Look just like that. So I know she's gonna look forward to those. So pretty simple, but fun today. So now I just have to get all of my lids on. I do wanna put an ice pack in here today because of the meat and the fruit. And then we will head out the door. Good evening, guys. It is much later now, like almost 9 p.m., and I'm just getting around to checking these boxes. And right off the bat, I can tell you that the kids did not like these cookies today, these little chocolate chip cookies. Um, nobody finished their cookies. There's like quite a lot left. 
And I'm really surprised because I tasted them and I thought that they were really good. So maybe I will eat them later. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and finish checking Mackenzie's. She did not finish her little veggie bites and there's a little bit of sauce left in there, but she ate all of her fruit and she ate all of her meat. So, hmm. Moving on to Jackson's. He left some cookies in here and the rest of his bag. And then, let's see, he ate all of his veggie bites, so that's awesome. And he ate most of his, pretty much all of his sauce, and he ate all of his fruit. He told me that the fruit was his favorite part. Now for Lily, she has some cookies left too. And they're kind of all over the place. Let's see, she left two veggie bites, but she ate almost all of her sauce. She ate all of her fruit and all of her meat. So overall, I think they did pretty good today. Next time I might give them less of the veggie bites and I definitely wouldn't give them these cookies anymore. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Now if you'd like to see last week's bunches of lunch